First of all, the project was not created by any political will or marketing opportunity. The project was created by Jacques Menard, who hired the Boston Consulting Group to decide what's wrong with the city of Montreal and what can we do to make it better. And it, if you look at the report, which is a pretty heavy report, it had lots and lots of people in it. Through those interviews and discussions, they came up with a 10-step action plan. And one of them was Je Fais Montréal, which initially was Je Vois Montréal. 180 projects, one of ours being part of the project as well, but I was suffering for three years trying to get my zoning. Once Je Fais Montréal got involved and was able to give us the support system to be able to be that buffer between, you know, the big bad real estate companies and what was going on in the city of Montreal at the time, it opened all the doors of what we needed to do to get our project passed because people understood now what we wanted to do. It gave us the credibility, it gave us the resources, it gave us the human beings that believed in the project, and bang, boom, we got our... We got our zoning and look around today, like it's here, it's real, it's concrete. I know that some ideas are more uh, theoretical or uh, difficult to see, but when you look at a real estate project where we are housing a lot of the projects that were created from Je Fais Montréal, it's real. There are real people doing really awesome stuff and I welcome the cynics to come around and say, hey, what could you do better? You know, I think it's really interesting to, to criticize sometimes, but maybe it's important for people to stand up for what they believe in and just don't stop until they get what they want. And that's really rebuilding Montreal.